What's up guys, this is Cody Bear, and I hope you guys have been enjoying uh, Escape from Server Q Times. Oh, I'm sorry, um, Escape from Tarkov. Uh, <laughs> so far, uh, it has been kind of a mess recently, but it's gonna get better, it always does. So I hang in there, but I thought I'd make a video to try to make uh, Ammo and Escape from Tarkov a little bit easier of a subject to understand. Uh, so I'm gonna do this in under five minutes. Uh, I've created an ammo chart uh, that I'm gonna link down in the description as well as the uh, EFT Gamepedia, Ballistics chart, and uh, another ammo chart for 12.2.5. That's the current patch we're in, made by Dude After Midnight. He's a wonderful streamer, he's a hard worker. I'll also have his uh, Twitch channel linked below. So let's get into it, let's go. All right, so the first link in the description is gonna be Gamepedia's uh, Escape from Tarkov Ballistics. I'd recommend reading through these on your own time uh, just to get a better idea. But basically how this table works is um, if it has a zero effectiveness against the armor, it's not really gonna go through it. Um, two, it'll mag, like if you put your whole mag into it, it might go through the armor. Uh, but you were looking for four to six. And uh, the armor types or classes are over here. There's uh, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Six being the best uh, ammo type. And you have your calibers on the left. Um, there's a lot of red, obviously, through this chart. Um, a lot of ammo that's just absolute trash. So what I did is I took all of the ammo in this chart and I, uh, I compared prices uh, and I made a list of ammo in a spreadsheet that's not gonna be downloadable, but you can use snipping tool or take a screenshot of it and then use that on your other monitor while you're playing the game to get a better idea of like what ammo types to use. I chose like two or three from every one of these categories and calibers to make it just easier because most of the ammo in Escape from Tarkov is just useless. I don't even know why it's in the game. So uh, let's get into that right now. All right guys, so this is the ammo chart I created. Uh, again, it's linked down in the description. You can uh, take a screenshot of this ammo chart if you'd like and have it as a picture on your other monitor so you'll always kind of know. Um, it's gonna be a good resource for you. Uh, I'll kind of go through how it works. So uh, ammo type on the left, I have the highest pen value here, which is probably the most expensive round. The highest damage round in this one, um, so it does almost zero pen. Um, the best budget ammo, this is uh, ammo that is going to have pretty good pen and pretty good flesh damage and also not like break your bank. And then these are my recommendations for each ammo class. Um, as you can see, it's not like huge. It simplified the list a ton. Um, uh, as a quick disclaimer though, uh, I didn't do any for Taz ammo, 9x18, or the TT rounds, or 366, because most likely you're not going to be running that stuff unless you're doing some kind of like build a gun in game in raid or you spawn in as a scav. So it's not super important to know these. Um, just kill another scav that has something better and you'll be better off. All right, so we're going to go through four different gun types real quick. Just the most common guns in the game so that you get something from watching this part of the video. Uh, we're going to start out with the 12 gauge shotgun. The most expensive round and the highest panning round is the AP 20 slug. Um, the highest damage is uh, actually the 8.6 mm round, which if you look at the other ammo chart I put in down below, um, it does 44 damage and has 8 projectiles, which means you can hit someone if you hit them in the legs or if they don't have armor for 352 damage uh, in one shot, which is insane. Um, it's really good actually for leg meta. I've used it quite a bit myself. You can two shot people in the legs, like a fully geared guy if you hit all the pellets, which can be hard to do. Um, so the best budget, uh, this round is only like 50 rubles from Jaeger, and uh, you can get it on the market for like 100 rubles, so I think that's the best budget. Um, also, Flechette is another really good budget round. Uh, so my recommendations are the AP-20 Slug, if you wanna try to pierce like level three and four armor, it doesn't do very well against anything higher than that. Um, Flechette, and if you're gonna go for leg meta, the Magnum Buckshot. All right, so the most common rifle round in the game is probably 545 by 39. Um, AK-74Ms, AK-74, AK-74Ms, they all use it. Uh, the most expensive and highest pen round is the Algonic 7N39. Um, HP does the highest damage. Again, I wouldn't uh, use it. I only included this category for really shotguns and rip ammo because they just destroy flesh. But um, the best budget though is actually PP in my opinion. It's only like 140 rubles a bullet, which is really cheap compared to like three, 400 rubles per bullet. 
has a little bit less pen than uh, BT and PP. It's not by much though. Um, if you look at the chart here, so BT has 37, BP has 32, and PP has 30. So I mean, it still will one shot most level three armors and still do really good against level four um, for about a third of the cost, which means uh, that's definitely like one of the best budget rounds you can get. Um, so over here, uh, uh, top recommendation is either Ogolnik or BS, and uh, if you're going to be going into raids against players like on reserve and stuff, be sure to bring uh, BT at least, um, but budget rounds are de that are still really good are BP and PP. The next round we're going to talk about is the 7.62x3.9 standard AK round. Um, the highest pen round is the BP round, uh, and uh, the highest damage round is the it's called HP. Again, I wouldn't recommend using it. And the best budget round in this class is PS, so really simply the two ammo types you should use are either BP or PS, depending on what you're trying to accomplish in that raid. Alright, so the final round I'm going to talk about is going to be the 762 by 31 mm it's also known as 308, uh, shot by like the Remington 700, the Hunter Vepper, uh, the, and the FAO. Um, the best pen in its class is the M61. Um, the best uh, flesh damage is the Ultra Nosler. Best budget is M80, and I would highly just recommend running M80. Uh, M61 is super expensive, so is M62. M80 is pretty cheap for the bullet type. You'll pen tier 4 armor most all the time, and um, it's just an all around great round. Alright, guys, that kind of brings me to the end of this video. So make sure that you use all three of those resources I've linked down below uh, my ammo chart, the Escape from Tarkov ammo chart that has the damage, the flesh, and uh, fragmentation chance and all that. And then use the Gamepedia's guide uh, to kind of see how many bullets it would take to pierce the different armor types. Uh, you'll have a better idea on all of those. But again, if you just use the recommendations I have put on the right side in green, uh, they're all really good ammo types. They have a pretty good chance to pierce most armor. Um, most people aren't running around in level 6 armor all game long, so my recommendations are definitely going to pierce most armor in the game, unless it's blue. If it's highlighted blue, that's leg meta. It'll have legs in parentheses. And if it has a T by it, that means it's a trace around. So keep that in mind if you're uh, out there. Well, anyways, uh, if you guys like this video, please give it a like. Um, I put a little bit of work into it. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, please subscribe if you haven't yet to my YouTube channel for more Escape from Tarkov guides. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and have a wonderful day.